What's going on, my little people? All right, but never mind the hat. It's a little bit big. Looks me, looks me, yeah, makes me look like a gangbanger. Oop. 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 I'm getting a call, man. Let's wait for this thing to ring. About three more times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on, man. Really? Thank you. Okay, so anyway, guys, that was only 10 seconds worth. Um, got into a debate today. You know, there's uh, there's some, uh, some, uh, some uh, what do you want to call it? Some false doctrines going around about this, uh, about the Pope pushing this Sunday worship that's going to be forced on people. And this is the mark of the beast. Okay, guys, pay attention, man. That is not the mark of the beast, okay? It's not, okay? In Revelations, it talks about the mark. It's either it goes into your right hand or your forehead in order to buy or sell. It has nothing to do with the day that you, the, the day that you worship on, okay? Excuse me, I just had you know, somebody walk by, distracted me. But anyway, it has nothing to do with the day that you worship on. Okay, let me put it to you this way, guys. A uh, hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, there were people who were going to church on Sunday. So are all these people going to hell? What about today? Anybody who goes to church on Sunday? Are they going to hell? So how can this be the mark of the beast if the devil forces you to go to church on Sunday? Okay, if that happens and you go to church on Sunday, you're going to hell, according to this false doctrine that's going around out there. Okay, no, 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 no. The mark of the beast, okay, just read Revelations, man. It is a mark that goes into your right hand or your forehead in order to buy or sell. Okay, why the forehead? Because if some people don't have a hand, but everybody's got a head, doesn't, I don't know if they use it or not, but they got a head, right? Uh, so that, that's the reason why the forehead, just in case somebody does not have a right hand whatever so anyway guys um plenty of youtube videos out there besides that guys let me make one more point before i go on i'm only into this two minutes give me about three minutes and i'm done here um god when he judges okay not everybody is going to do this it's, you know not everybody is going to be judged the same okay there's people out there in the jungles who have never heard the word they're not going to go to hell, okay? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's the, maybe they're going to reign with Jesus the thousand years uh, or something like that. Or maybe that's when the devil is loosed again a little bit after after the millennium. Remember that in Revelations that the devil gets loosed again to tempt people for a short time. Maybe those are the people that get tempted at that time and place. I don't know. I don't know how God's going to do it all. I really don't. But there's a lot of people out there, If you if you don't, if you don't know Jesus, you're going to hell. You know, that's false, man, because there's a lot of people out there, um, again, that are born retarded, they're born blind, they're born deaf, they're born dumb. They have no choice. I mean, they, they can't. There's no way, okay? There's, there's many, many, many other people out there that have never heard. And to be honest with you guys, when I was about, eh, about 20 years old, I had no idea who God was or who Jesus was until my boss, my ex-boss that I had, explained to me the whole situation okay started reading the bible to me and i just grabbed on from there so even though i lived you know on, on whatever and in the subdivision and i went by churches every day i had no idea you know who god was so if i was to stand before god you know when i died or whenever and he asked me if I knew him. I said, dude, you know, I really didn't. I, I had no idea. I mean, I was, I was out busy. I was partying, chasing women, doing my thing, doing what I was, you know, brainwashed to do early on in life. Um, so, you know, judgment is going to be different all across the board. There's going to be different rewards. People like me who know better should be sinning less. Okay, once saved, always saved. That's not true. Okay, we don't want to get into that right now because I already have. Um, but anyway, back to 
Sunday worship being the mark of the beast. That's the new uh, demon of doctrines going around because basically, guys, listen to me. If somebody drills into your head that Sunday worship, if, if you're forced to, to, to worship on Sunday, that means you're taking the mark. Well, then you're not going to worry about something that goes into your right hand or your forehead. You guys understand that? So you don't want to be brainwashed by this false doctrine, okay, that's coming out like that. Uh, yeah, don't listen to it. Don't listen to it, man. It's going around. It's on certain channels. It is a false doctrine. Keep your mind, keep your eye on the ball. Um, mark of the beast, right hand or forehead. Don't take it, uh, and you're good to go. All right, peace out. God bless. Take care.